How they, they've benefited me is that I'm more easily tapping into, intuitively tapping into the path that will lead me in the right direction. And certainly this has led me in the right direction. And then they've allowed me to do certain things, you know, like manifest certain intentions and focus me on certain intentions. And, you know, I started doing crystal grids to do manifesting and using certain crystals daily throughout my everyday you know routines and how everything just started really becoming um almost effortless you know and and showed me the path you know and i always feel like when i'm working really closely with my crystals i'm never wondering what should i be doing these types of things just naturally unfold you know so i i am just so grateful for this path, the crystal yeah. path. And see, the thing that I love so much about crystals is the science, because people, when they hear that, you know, I, you know, I've heard, I've seen people on YouTube even making fun of people that believe in crystals. They're just like, oh my gosh, like that's so out there. And I'm like, no, there's science behind it. You know, this is legit stuff. It's not just like, if you believe, you know, like some people think, which I do believe so much in the power of the mind and the law of attraction, but some people think that, oh, whatever, that's so like mystical type stuff, you know? Well, that's the nice side effect of that science brings is that it does open the door for the skeptics. It's certainly not necessary to understand the science knowing the science behind why things work or how things work doesn't appeal to some people and they totally don't need it. And they're like, I don't need that. I know it works and I'm doing my own thing over here. And that's great. But for some people that feel like they would have more confidence in what they're doing and that would help them along and empower them on their path, then it's great to have the science there. I have so many students who come to me and tell me that, they were hesitant on this path because they couldn't explain it to others and their family and their friends. They were being ridiculed. They were being made fun of. But once they understood the science and could explain how and why they work, their confidence felt so just boosted, you know, and they were like, I could answer any question. I could stand up to any skeptic. And that made me feel empowered. And that made me better with my crystal work or as a crystal healer or whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish. Yeah, exactly. It is nice to know that science for the skeptics, like you said, and to kind of give you your own confidence in it, you know, not just thinking, is this real? Is this just the placebo effect? Which <laughs> it's funny. I think the placebo, it's funny when people say it's just the placebo effect, but I'm like, well, if it works, who cares? You know, if it works, it works. Exactly. You know? <laughs> That's what I say all the time. And I go, and your point is what's wrong with the placebo effect? Isn't yeah. everything a placebo effect? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If it's working, that's all that matters. If right. that's your goal for something to work, then that's all that should matter. The understanding the how and why behind it, yeah, that's great. But if if it's working, let's keep on keeping on, right? Exactly, yes. So give us the, the science behind it. Can you explain that? Our body has an average vibrational frequency, but it's based on all the different parts in our body. Like our brain has one average vibrational frequency, our heart has another, our liver has another, all our cells and so on and so forth. We're partially made up of liquid crystals. We have some solid crystals, but mostly the molecules in our body are randomly placed. They're not in a repeating pattern. So that makes our various vibrational frequencies not very stable. In fact, it's easily influenced by all kinds of things that we encounter throughout the day. So it gets out of whack really easily, especially when we experience any kind of stress. And unfortunately, in this day and age, that happens quite often. You know, um, it's not just um, us being chased in the plains by a lion who wants to eat us anymore. It's like every little thing stresses us out yeah. now <laughs> all the time and puts us into fight or flight mode, even when it shouldn't. So crystals are different and I'm going to explain how they're different than us. So I just described how we're all random and why we're so easily influenced by other things. 
Crystals are matter, just like everything else, which equals energy, M E equals M C squared. And so that's just the formula for energy equals matter, matter equals energy, vice versa. And crystals have vibrations just like everything else does. Um, different forms of matter and energy vibrate at different vibrational frequencies. And those specific frequencies depend on different variables, like the crystal's specific molecular composition, its size, its thickness, its exact color. Color is just another word for light frequencies. Now, what actually makes a crystal a crystal is that its molecules are arranged in a fixed, regularly repeating geometric pattern. So I'm right now holding up a model of a sodium chloride molecule, which is table salt. Okay. And you can see, and you can even look at it, when you look at a little grain of salt, they're little cubes. All right. And then if you go even smaller, if you were able to use a microscope and go even smaller, you would see the individual molecules are actually a cube. But you can see that they're very ordered. There's a repeating geometric pattern. So since they're so geometrically perfect, which is very unlike us, like I described before, they have the lowest possible state of disorganization. And they very easily maintain their vibration unlike us okay so that makes them very different than so, us so crystals have that special difference so they have this unique ability because of that organization to influence energies around them okay wow that's so really interesting yeah and they they can act as guides and tools that actually support and amplify and clarify your intentions and it's all based on that geometric perfection at the atomic level, at the molecular level. Wow, that's so cool. And how many different kinds of crystals are there? I mean, I just started learning about the, like the basic ones, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, this goes on and on forever. Yeah, it could blow your mind. There's over 4,500 different minerals. They don't all look like perfect crystals. So we, we mostly know about the very sparkly ones with the beautiful facets and points on them. They don't all look like that, but there's quite a bit and there's more being discovered all the time in the geological community. So we have a lot. On our planet, We like you can't go to Mars and find so many beautiful crystals. Our planet's very special because of the oxygen and the living things on our planet. It's kind of a symbiotic relationship. So because of the oxygen, and the carbon dioxide, it causes oxidation of different elements, and those elements start to grow and crystallize and cr have created all this beauty, the 4,500 plus minerals that we have on the planet. It's unlike any other planet in our solar system. It might exist in other solar systems, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> Tell me more about like all that you offer. You have an incredible website that has so much, um, so many resources available for people who want to really dive into this. Yeah, I have a lot on there um, because I've been around a while now. I guess in internet years, it's kind of getting into Cretaceous periods or something. But um, I, you know, I just try to keep it simple for people that just want to start out, start out, or maybe have to create a sacred space to uh, you know kind of embark on this sacred path and use crystals to create a sacred space so you have a place to re to go and just be happy and feel really good and feel peaceful um, I have a little e-kit that's free well it's kind of big actually there's a lot of stuff in it um, but if you go to hibiscusmoongift.com I have a private tour of my own sacred space and how I use crystals in it an e-book on step by step how to create your own sacred space and the meditation to do with your crystals and sacred space Oh, 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 oh,